Well, since I'm sort of on a streak with my Evil Dead videos, why stop now? Why stop now? Let's do all the Evil Dead videos. I got so many under my belt. Well, I'm not wearing a belt, but I got so many under my pants. You can't even believe. And what we're talking about today is how if, since Evil Dead 2, Evil Dead Rise is so popular, I have a little theory. And also Scream Rant blessed me with an article that only strengthened my theory that we are going to get another Evil Dead movie, and not only are we going to get another Evil Dead movie, but we're going to be seeing Mia Allen from Evil Dead, the remake, and my boy Ash Williams. Huh. Ash. Previously in the Evil Dead franchise, we saw Ashy Poo in Evil Dead, well, Ash vs. Evil Dead, and he traveled into the future, and then the show got cancelled, because no one knew it was on stars. That's literally how Bruce Campbell explained why it got cancelled. Oh, you don't believe me? I Roll the clip! <laughs> I, I, I would tell people, hey, great news, we're bringing Evil Dead back as a series. Oh my god, Bruce, it's great news, what's it gonna be on? Stars. <laughs> <laughs> What stars? Oh! <laughs> we got canceled because nobody knew that stars existed. <laughs> they were kind of hoping we were going to put them on a map. Then it goes to Netflix, and people are like, Hey, Bruce, I didn't know Netflix was doing a new show! <laughs> oh, oh, you fuckers. <laughs> but don't worry, none of you are guilty. It was the, it was only the most illegally downloaded TV show in the history of fucking TV shows. <laughs> oh, why did it get canceled? Because you fuckers ripped it. <laughs> Ash's story was left in limbo, and Brucey e. Pooh said he wouldn't play Ash anymore and that he was retired. I got I saw an article published a day ago about how Bruce Campbell misses playing Ash, so we might see Ash again. So yeah, we'll see Ash again. But the point but the thing is, when will we see Ash again? Hold on. Yeah, see? Even even Yeah, will Ash Williams return? Now here's where we get into other stuff. So so, like I said, we last left Ash in a limbo state with Ash vs. Evil Dead, but we also got left off with Mia Allen from the Evil Dead remake. She, too, lost her hand after fighting her friends and brother in a cabin. It was almost similar to Evil Dead in the fact that Mia was the one who was saved and not her brother being the one, like, you know, it, it, wasn't, it was different because her brother wasn't the one who lost his hand. He ended up dying because he was trying to save Mia, and Mia lived while all of her friends and brother died, which is similar to Ash's story because Ash lost his sister and all of his friends in that cabin, but he didn't lose his hand yet in that movie. He only lost it in the second movie, which is considered a remake of the first movie because in that movie, Ash's girlfriend gets taken by Deadites and he loses his hand. Now, we're on to this movie. Spoilers, I'm sorry, but if you didn't see it yet, it's too late. We already got a digital release and a physical release of June 27th. Anyways, we now are in Evil Dead Rise. We have um, our final girl, Beth, and her niece. Oh my god, I forgot her name. Oh, okay, hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on a minute. Alright, spoilers for the... Um obviously for Evil Dead Rise, but um, in Evil Dead Rise, we were left with our two survivors of the film. That's right, you, didn't, you bet you never expect the two survivors, but we have Beth and her niece Cassie. If you didn't see Evil Dead Rise, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. So in Evil Dead Rise, um, there's a woman named Ellie who lives in an apartment with her three children, Bridget, Danny, and Cassie, and her son Danny stupidly finds the Necronomicon, which um, we'll talk about later on, and he ends up summoning a demon that possesses his mom and kills her and then, it just chaos ensues, but it leaves only Beth and Cassie left alive. And all of that is going to tie in to this new Evil Dead movie we might get because we have, you know, they, we have three Necronomicon books in this universe. And the article explains how um, even though they seem like separate events, all these, um, the books seem to connect all of them together, all the universes together and stuff, and they could be linked somehow because all these books were in Army of Darkness and transferred over to the Evil Dead universes, which Ash has the original one, um, Mia gets one, and then Danny had one, but now we don't know, it, it still works, I guess, because it, it did end up possessing someone else named Jessica, who we see in the beginning of the movie killing her cousin and her boyfriend. 
Lucky for us, um, Screen Rant released an article about how Mia Ash and Beth could all team up to stop the Necronomicons, and it says so here that the Evil Dead Rise director, Lee Cronin, has already teased an Evil Dead Rise sequel, but one of the most promising concepts was the unification of the books, necessitating Necess whatever, a team up of Ash, Mia, and Beth. If all three books were unified, that could result in a big bad to battle. The Evil Dead franchise suggests that the books cannot actually be destroyed, and the books may even be sentient. However, all three prota protagonists have battled the Dead of the Deadites and won, or at least have not died. So it's reasonable to think that between them, they could come up with an appropriate approach to end the Deadites once and for all. Director Lee Cronin hinted that Ash may have made a cameo in Evil Dead Rise as Bruce Campbell voices the priest on the third um, of the vinyl recordings. The fact that the priest's message was a warning indicates he is aware of dangers, which could imply Ash has traveled through time once again. He may even be hunting the book so that he can destroy them. Evil Dead Rise's ending also sets up more Deadeye attacks, which what which could be what brings um the evil the protagonist together. If me and Ash were to hear about the attacks, they would likely recognize the gory details, which could result in them seeking out Beth. Um a side note, I did see this in a fic once where um Ash finds out about Mia's predicament and goes to her and they, you know, stick together because, you know, he, Ash didn't want like a repeat of he didn't want someone else to end up just like him. And a side note to that as well is that we were supposed to see Ash in Evil Dead the remake. He was supposed to be the truck driver that picks up Mia, but um, instead we just see him saying, Groovy. And, and it was just, it was very weird. I have seen the dark shadows moving in the woods, and I have no doubt that whatever I have resurrected through this book is sure to come calling for me. Crossover, if it does happen, could make an incredible franchise tradition even greater. Which, I don't know what that means, but let's see. As even the smallest bits of Deadites can still attack, total destruction and dismemberment is required. No matter what the setting, even in an apartment complex apparently, there is always an item or two handy to help the heroes of the Evil Dead franchise defeat the Deadites. Both the iconic chainsaw and the boomstick, a 12-gauge double barrel shotgun, have made appearances in every movie and always find their way into the hands of the heroes for maximum Deadite carnage. This tradition would certainly continue in a team of film, but that collaborative concept would take it to new heights. The gore and mayhem would outdo Evil Dead Rise's record-breaking amount, record amount of blood, with three people wielding chainsaws and shotguns. It's the perfect opportunity to get the creative with the fight choreography. A veteran dead eye killer like Ash teaching his two projects everything he's learned through the decades could set up some off-the-wall killing blows and take the, Evil Dead, the entire Evil Dead franchise to a new plane of action horror. I honestly agree with this not just because i'm a sucker for horror and gore and i love the gore in this movie but also because i really miss ash and his story was left in limbo after season three like i mentioned before it, it got canceled because no one even knew it was on stars and if people knew we would have gotten to season four and at the time bruce said hey man i don't want to play ash no more but now he started he's starting to miss ash which means we could possibly get a follow-up to mia's story since we don't know what happened to her after her the remake movie i mean it would be cool I mean, maybe they'd have, like, a goal or something like that. Because keep in mind, um, another spoiler, Beth was pregnant the whole time. So the fact that she freaking was able to deal with all that while being pregnant and saving her only niece, because, spoiler alert, the other two die, niece and nephew, or, you know, they die. You know, there's a lot to, you know, build towards. Like, maybe Beth would want to team up, with, team up with Ash and Mia because she wants to protect Cassie and her unborn baby and make sure they're okay and stuff like that. So, but with this movie and the whole franchise, probably, but, like, I'm not sure if this crossover movie would end the franchise, although the franchise has been going on for far, like, for so long. It never loses its charm, which is the greatest thing about it. There's comics about Ash, like, he literally fought Freddy and Jason. We could have gotten that movie, like, an explanation here. 
Freddy vs. Jason didn't do so well, and if it did do well, we would've gotten Freddy vs. Jason vs. Pinhead, but also, if that movie did well, we would've gotten Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash, which, since the Freddy vs. Jason didn't do so well, we never got Freddy vs. Jason vs. Pinhead, but we still got Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash in a comic! A uh, tongue twister, I know, but I just really, I gotta buy the comics to that, man, it is just, I just, it's so crazy to think this whole franchise started from a short film from 1978 and didn't have much thought or lore to it. It was just Sam Raimi fucking with Bruce Campbell and it became all of this.